Good evening. Breaking news involving a death investigation that we first told you about nearly one week ago. This 24-year-old woman, Taylor Shabusiness, faces multiple charges including homicide and mutilating a corpse. Last Wednesday morning, hours before the sun came up, police were called to this Stony Brook Lane home by the woman who lives there, telling them she had discovered her son's severed head in a bucket at the bottom of the basement stairs. The woman told police she'd heard a door slam between 2 and 3 a.m., waking her. She told police she went to check out a light left on downstairs and made the gruesome discovery. In addition to a lot of blood, police reported finding body parts in bags and storage containers in the basement. Shabusiness even telling police, quote, they were going to have fun trying to find all the organs as she dismembered the body. Shabusiness told police she used knives she'd found in the kitchen. Prosecutors say the medical examiner determined the victim died by strangulation. Shabusiness telling police it happened during a sexual encounter and that she did not mean to kill the victim, but told investigators she just went crazy. Police say Shabusiness was smoking meth with the victim before the murder. In court, prosecutors detailed a lengthy criminal record for her, telling a court commissioner Shabusiness had a warrant out for her arrest, was on probation, and was supposed to be wearing an electronic monitoring bracelet at the time of the murder, but appeared to have removed it somehow. Police say Shabusiness was the last person to see the victim alive, sending them looking for her first thing Wednesday morning, finding her on the east side of the city with blood on her clothing and hands, adding when they searched her van, they found a box with additional human body parts inside. Shabusiness is also charged with sexual assault for what prosecutors say were acts that happened after the victim had died.